Hello there, beautiful humans. Good morning. It's about 20 after 6 on a Monday morning, and normally I'd just be getting out of bed, but uh, this is the Monday following a really nice weekend, and I think the beach might be full of lovely treasures. So I want to get out there quickly before A, they sweep the beach, or B, other detectorists try to hit it. And as I stepped out the door, I realized it has just started to rain. <laughs> so I went back in and changed my jacket. I've got my nifty uh, rain jacket on now, and this is going to be my first time getting it dirty. So come along with me and we'll see what I can find in the sand. Well, they've already raked the beach. They must do it overnight. Well, I'll see what I can find. And here comes the usual suspect. I guess I'll have to come out at 5.30 in the morning. <laughs> My first target is a pull tab. I hope it gets better than this. My first coin is a dime. Second target, first coin. So the, uh, the rake doesn't appear to pick up the heavier targets. I mean, a dime isn't very heavy and this wasn't down very far, so I'm hopeful. The sweeper literally almost ran me over. If I didn't move for one side, he would have gone right over the coil of my machine. Not very pleased. However, do you see this? It's not far down. Maybe an inch and a half. Let's see. I think it's another dime. And it is. Ooh, shiny. It's plaid. Still, 10 cents in the sand. This beach is really quiet, and I don't think I can entirely blame the sweeper. Um, this is where he swept already. But I found a little carabiner, and it still works. So I can use that to clip my flashlight to my pouch. I'm here by the lifeguard stand, and what do you suppose I find underneath it? A trowel. <laughs> I don't think that'll fit in my pouch, but that's coming home with me because I could sure use it in the garden. Right up at the edge of the boardwalk, I found this little button which says Vans. I've never seen a button like this. I'm not sure what that's all about, but I guess it used to be Vans. Moving on. That edge there tells me this is a loony, but this is the worst loony I have ever seen. Wow, what a mess. When I pulled it out, I thought it had to be a token of some kind, but honestly, I think it's a loony dollar. Wow, I'll have to hide that one in the middle of a coin roll. <laughs> I crawled under another lifeguard stand and found myself a really trashy quarter. That's one of the new clad ones. Yuck. This beach is super quiet. So I think what I'm going to do, since it's a rainy Monday morning at something to 8 o'clock, I'm going to go over to this little vacant tot lot and see what I can find in the chips. Check with me there. I'm over at this little playground now. And there's absolutely nobody here. People are walking their dogs, carrying umbrellas and things like that, but it's a rainy morning, so nobody's out but this crazy metal detectorist. Auntie is being very intrepid. But I have to say, my new rain jacket is wonderful. The water just beads up off it, so I'm glad of that. Check with you at the first plug here. Naturally, my first plug is the bottle seal, which rang up absolutely beautifully. It's such a clean signal because it's round and made of metal. It thinks it's a coin, but it's wrong. Welcome back, beautiful humans, to my cleanup of my hunt at the beach. 
<laughs> these are the things that I managed to glean before I was overtaken by the by the beach grooming machine. I was really in a standoff with that, but anyway, here we go. I've got a whole bunch of plastic bottle caps, a piece of a cable tie, uh, OK Tire Auto Service. Uh, yeah, it came off somebody's car. Random pieces of plastic. This is a mystery to me. I have no idea what that might be. It almost looks like the guts of a an earbud, but it's too big. I don't know. These days, is it part of a vape or is it a piece of Lego? <laughs> it might be a piece of Lego. I don't know. Anyway, there it is. Bobby pin. Those things are the bane of a beach hunter's existence. Uh, wire, screws, random sharpish lumps of metal, which I'm glad to get out of the out of the sand for the sake of feet. More plastic, more plastic, little ball of foil. Boy, that rang up well. And this little misery, oh my goodness. It's a tiny bottle seal, probably off the end of a tube of suntan lotion. Boy, that rang up sweetly. More foil, bottle caps, bottle caps, and pull tabs. This one I know with the crown on it is from Budweiser Beer. And that one says, wow, and that one says, yo. And I know that those are from bubbly water, which is, I'm, I'm glad to see two of those to one beer cap. And some more pull tabs. The carabiner still works. I might be able to use that to hang some gear from my pouch. This sweet little hair clip. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Little pink daisy. And it still works very well. I washed it off carefully. There's no rust. My, my guess is it was dropped today. And I think I'll save that and give it to some little girl. What else? Oh, yes. I, I said this was some kind of button because I looked at the back and there was this bar across it. Of course, it's not a button. It's a badge. It was just so clogged with rust and sand that I couldn't even make out the fact that that's the pin. And there's the little catch. So whatever Vans is, I don't know. I'll do a little research and see if I can find out what Vans is. This isn't in very good shape. It's got a tear in it. The paper's compromised. But it's not the worst looking badge I've found. And I found four coins. I found four coins, and the first one is a 1990 loony dollar, but you wouldn't believe it to see it. There's the queen. You can just make her out. The second portrait of the queen with the diadem. And I don't know if you'll be able to see the date. Anyway, take it from me. It's a 1990. And it's in horrible condition. I'll have to hide that in the middle of a coin roll. Ditto with this quarter. This is a uh, sorry, a 2005 quarter. You can just, if I can get it into focus. Hmm. There you can see the zero zero five. Nasty, so rusty, and the poor queen, look, she's wearing a mask of rust. Again, <laughs> I'll have to hide that one. I'd get dirty looks if I tried to spend those coins. 2013 dime. I think this is a recent drop. These are certainly still in circulation. I think it's a recent drop because it's clean. There's no rust on it. And my oldest coin. Is a 1986. In pretty good condition, considering it's been in the sand for a while. These are again still in circulation, but uh, we don't see as many with the second portrait anymore.
So that's in way better condition than its quarter and dollar cousins from more recently. So there you have it. It was anti against the grooming machine. And that's what I managed to pick out of the sand. But then there was this. <laughs> the mighty trowel. This was actually sitting under the lifeguard stand. Just like that. So I can use that in the garden. It doesn't have any serrations on it, so it will be useless for metal detecting as far as I'm concerned, but uh, I don't need it. I have my wonderful white sticker. But I can sure use this in the garden. So thanks, Beach. Glad to have it. And I'm glad to have cleaned up the beach a bit. So until next time, here's Auntie waving goodbye, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>